Hey, welcome back to Exit 45 Restorations. And uh, today what we're gonna do is finish up that trunk install. Back at it on the Thunderbird. Try to wrap up this trunk. And uh, I got a good comment from George. I appreciate it, George. I, this is the way I had the uh, trunk seal on, but that is not how it goes. So when I look at this, it looks like you got this lip underneath here. And then you have this, if you look at the profile, you have a little bit of a, a lip right, right along here. You see it? And it looks like that goes in and then you tuck and you tuck it right up underneath there this so this gets tucked up underneath that lip and then it sits on there like that I wish I knew 100% but I don't because I don't have any video or photos of this before it came off and uh, the book doesn't have anything on it. Uh, it doesn't show anything about which way this goes. I can't find it in there anywhere. So anyway, that's, uh, it sure looks like that's how it goes. You know, now that I look at it, after George, George said that the flat end went down. Okay, so I did that and it just makes sense that it goes this way. But it seemed like it made sense that it went the other way too. So, you know, who knows? All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna run this around. all right so get you some progress checks here so we got it in i worked it around this corner and now i'm starting to work work up that way so we're getting there all right well guys i'm gonna i'm gonna have to pull this trunk lid off and just very carefully i'm gonna pull it down got some blankets over here you can see and just get it up lay it up on the roof the blankets all the way across the roof uh, I can't get this weather stripping in here with that trunk lid on so I'm gonna have to you know I had all kinds of help getting it on now I gotta get it off by myself it's just me so let's get it This is what happens when you don't get it right the first time. All right, bring you back in for another update. You can see I've come down the back stretch. I'm headed into turn three. And I just got one more turn to complete my lap. Okay, live from Exit 45 Restorations Garage, I present to you one finished seal. Tell me how I did, George. Please tell me I did good. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, so we got that. So let's get the uh, rubber strip and that seals uh, along here. Let's get that in. Well guys, trying to get some work done. 
And look who shows up and gets right in my way. <laughs> I know, Pep. I know. There you go. He doesn't like the rain, I guess. I don't know. Anyways. There you go. You're all right. Okay, you're going to rub on the camera? Okay. <laughs> all right, buddy. Kiki. Well, I guess he needs a moment. So you can see here, I'm working on this piece of stripping right here. And I can't get to it. Now there's a cat on it. Come on, you're okay. <laughs> All right. It just takes these, uh, these clips right here, if the cat would leave me alone. You can see him right here. <laughs> Crazy cat. All right, all right, okay. You're you're making good friends with everybody right now. You're, oh, hey, look how good we <laughs> You cat. Oh my gosh, you're something else. Can I, can I get anything done, huh? Anyway. So there's a, you can see there's some holes. You see the hole there in the rubber? This goes through that, just like that. See it come out the other side. And it just goes into these holes right here. It's pretty self-explanatory for the most part. The only thing I don't know is if uh, this is on the right way. Does this go this way or does it flip around and go the other way And this? So I'm sure... I'm sure one of you guys will let me know. A big deal. These things come off pretty easy, and I can just swap around. Again, I I look at some pictures on the internet, and I can't tell the pictures aren't that good. And the book doesn't have anything on it, so I'm just gonna go like this. And if you guys say it, say it's uh, it's wrong, then I'll just pop it back off and swap it around. It is not a big deal. Okay, let me finish this up, and I'll show you when I got it all in. Okay, all right, take you down the, take you down the strip, but came out pretty good. Like I said, if it's not on there the right way, I have really no way of knowing that at this point. If you guys take a look and let me know, I'll just swap it around if it needs to be. Look at that. Pepper decided to uh, take a position as a supervisor. He was over here helping me work now. Look, at he's moving up the ranks fast. <sighs> oh, well. Got to do what he says, and he's telling me right now to get back to work. All right, let me get at it. All right, so just a quick look at uh, what I got in here. I know it can be a little bit hard to see, but let's see if we can't get in there. But we got the clips for the trim and all the way down. So uh, I know I was talking earlier about these things were probably trash, but I got them all cleaned up and got them all to work. So I was really happy about that because you can't buy these. Um, so if you're doing something like this, if you can leave them on, you might want to. I, I, I think you'd have to put the window in, slide the top up in there first and then slide the bottom in. I don't know if you can do it or not. I took them out because I thought they'd interfere with the window. Uh, going in and out, but anyway, they're all in they're tight. I got them sealed So now we can start working on our trim uh, I need to buff At least the area I can get to I got the uh, deck lid right now sitting on top of here So I'm gonna I'm gonna buff this area right here and come down to the sail panels and get those buffed Okay, so as you can see I've got the buffing done Came out really good. Looks good. Got it all the way around. So I am ready to see about getting getting some trim on this thing. All right. So I got this piece of trim set up here. 
and you know I'm not 100% sure where it goes I'm gonna probably center it because it gets overlapped on either end looks like um, so I'm gonna probably just pull me a measurement and make sure I'm pretty well centered before I go locking this in well there you go guys look what I got done trims all the way around it came out good I like it so that's a good step forward uh, so that brings me over to here and my mess <laughs> yep I got a mess going over here uh, I'm working on I got a new latch or key latch whatever for the uh, car here's the old one it's not in terrible shape but these new ones is they're junk I mean, I'm just telling you guys if the one you got is okay use it because I screw this thing down you can see the two screws back in there to screw this lid right here on and when you tighten them this is what you get take a look at how that sits on there it's crooked see it here you see along here it doesn't it doesn't want it the tighter you get it the more it pulls this side this way and then when you open this it doesn't want to it, it binds it up it's garbage it's just pure junk so I'm not gonna use it I'm gonna I'm gonna use the old one good money to waste right there anyway um, this is the uh, the one I have it just needs a good cleaning um, and it needs a new piece for the top but I, I got that on on this one so I'll swap it out I just thought I'd let you know that these new replicas you know maybe maybe you guys had a better experience than I did but that this lid won't will not secure on there straight I have I've been beating myself up trying to get it on there right Whoop. that ain't helping it is it <laughs> um, but yeah it's it's garbage okay guys so this is the striker right here and that's gonna bolt on right here and it's got these big countersunk Phillips screws it's gonna go like this now this here is where you're gonna make all your adjustments so this will here you'll move this up and down to get the uh, to get that striker right where you want it for the latching uh, it's noisy in here guys we got uh, we got a nasty storm blowing through but I say blowing through it won't be gone till tomorrow but it's a uh, it's pretty heavy but we'll we'll get through it I'll just talk loud Come on. there we go all right so we're not going to want to tighten this we're just going to want to snug this snug it down so we can still move it and adjust it and So there we go. That's ready for adjustment when we get there.
Okay, now let me snug these up some. But it worked. <laughs> All right, guys, we got it. So appreciate y'all's help. Couldn't have done it without you. All right, let me, uh, let me get out of here. We're getting there. We're getting there. Look at that. So we're high here. So I got to bring the hinges down on this side. I think we're going to be pretty good over there or really, really close. Those may have to come down just a little. Uh, definitely went too high up here. Um, we're still, we're still having a bigger gap on this side. And we have a pretty tight gap on this side. This car, when I took it apart, was that way. It was, it was shifted a little bit. I don't know if it's just the way this car was put together and it's, it's having a hard time, uh, you know, moving it over here. I don't know. Uh, I'm going to keep playing with it. We're going to try and get as close as we can get it. Um, there's not a lot of not a lot of adjustment for shifting side to side. That's kind of set where those hinges bolt in. Um, there's a little bit on the where the hinge bolts to the deck lid. There's a you got a little bit of play in those, so I can I can manipulate those some. But I've got them pretty pretty far already. I don't know if I got any more adjustment in those. So. Lots going on, lots of, you know, I just got to find it. There's, there's a magical formula where everything will make this line up. I just got to find it. All right, let me play around with it a little bit more, and we'll, uh, we'll see if we can get it. Well, I've been fighting this trunk lid, <laughs> trying to get these gaps set, but I can't get it. Uh, when I got this car and I took it apart, I noticed that the trunk lid sat to this side more. There was a bigger gap over here when I tore it apart. I figured I'd fix that when I put it back together. But here's what I'm thinking it might be. So if you look at the hinge right here, see how it's got to lean that way, just, just a bit. And then you look at this one. And I've kind of straightened that one out some. Um, but it was leaning a little bit that way too. I think something may have done something with these hinges and got them just pulled enough. So I'm wondering if I need to pull the trunk lid off and then get a hold of those hinges and just get them pulled so that they're straight. So that I have a fighting chance of getting a, an even gap on both sides. Now I'm probably going to have to take this Hmm, trunk lid off for the third time. <laughs> Golly. You know, every time you're just asking for something to go wrong. <laughs> we got it off without any issues. So that was good. So the real question is, why does this one lean that way? Yeah, I don't know. These torsion bars. Uh, under there seemed to have some pressure on it, kind of pulling it that way. I don't know. I mean, it looks like I got them to move. I don't know. I mean, it's it's moved. So I guess uh, I guess we can pull it back down, put the trunk lid back on, see if we got it. You don't need to watch that. You guys, you guys have seen that once already. Nothing to see there. All right, that worked. So you can see my gap along the back looks good. My steps a little bit high here. This is a little bit higher. Just 
very little, but I can adjust those hinges down a little bit. So we're in good shape back there. And then when you come here, you can see we got a gap there now. And we got a good gap here. So I think we're good. I think we just need to bring, bring the deck lid down just a little bit, mostly on that side, just a touch here on this side. And then I got to figure this out because it's, I don't know if it's just the, uh, the new seal in there that's making this really tight, tight coming down. I'm not sure, sure what I need to do about that, but I can, uh, I can deal with that here a little bit later. For now, I just need to adjust that back a little bit and then I can start to work on now go ahead and get my latches and everything in. All right, guys, we're moving along now. There you go. I think we are ready to get these uh, latches system installed here. So uh, you remember we went ahead and we got that already in place. Sorry, that light. Uh, uh, so I have everything laid out here. And this is going to be the fun part. I got to figure out, you know, what order these go in I really I don't know it's just gonna be trial and error I guess so I'm gonna start with this piece and then see if I can't get that on and we got to get it hooked into here I don't I don't know I'll figure that all that out it's probably gonna have to go on and off on and off until I get it right <laughs> yeah that's how I do things here all right so let's start right here okay um, I'm not 100% sure on this, but we'll just loose install it and we'll, uh, we'll play with it from there. This would have been a lot easier if I actually am the one that took this off. I'd have some, at least some memory of it, but it's got to go like this. So, like that. So you can see, it's going to go like this. And somehow I got to get that. I gotta get it from not fall out too. All right, so I gotta get this up in here, through here, and then in the other arm on the other piece. So, all right, so that rod has to connect the arm of the uh, lock assembly to the arm of this latch assembly. And I've got like, you know, you know, no room. Once I put the uh, piece up top here, all I'll have to deal with is this inside here. So it's gonna be, it's going to be tricky. All right. There we go. So we got that in. Ah, oh, how am I going to do that? I don't, I don't even. You got to be kidding me. There ain't no way. So I think I may have this not on the right way. I'm going to take a quick look at the book. See, right now it's facing like this. I think it may need to be the other way around, but I'm going to go take a look at the book and see if it clarifies it for me. I have uh, been through several combinations of trying to figure out how this piece goes on like this, how this piece goes on, and then how this locking clip here goes on. So I'm going to walk you through each of these so that you understand exactly the order in which all this goes and in what orientation so let's start here all right so this sits on the trunk like this uh this being the front this being the back you can open it all right so with that said you need to orient your your lever here like this so that it Soups up, and then this linkage needs to go where it hangs, just like that. This is really important, okay, um, that this is just like this. So, uh, I don't think there's much more. So, if you look, I'm going to turn it. There's your C-clip, there's a washer, and then there's like a spring washer below that. Okay, and that's how this attaches to this all right so i think i think we got this under control okay so once you get 
get it like this. The next step, okay, is we're gonna install this in here, but we have to be really careful to keep this from falling out. It just wants to fall out, all right? So as we put it in, we're gonna come up from underneath to try and grab a hold of that and hold it in place. Once you get this established on here and down, and down on there like it's supposed to, then this is up against some, uh, some metal back in here. So then it can't really come out, okay? And then it's stuck in there, it's, it's, it's in its place. But you have to get to that point. That's the, that's the first step of this entire thing. Set this up just like this. And then once we put it in, we wanna make sure we're holding this in place. And once this is down and in, then this will stay where it's at. Until then, as you turn it, whoop, it wants to just fall out. All right, so it's, it's really tricky. I had it all right, I had it all together, and I took it apart. <laughs> so you guys can see how this goes. All right, so here we go. All right, so now I got a hold of the linkage. And now, and see that, see how easy that is? It just came right out. I gotta, I've really gotta work on getting that. There we go, come on. Okay, all right. Now, I'm down, okay. I'm down where I'm supposed to be. And now that linkage is in there and it's hitting up against the metal. It, it can't come out now. All right. So, all right. Now, this piece will go right up and bolts up into, uh, whoop, whoop, bolts right up into here. All right. That linkage, <laughs> I just lost my clip. All right. So the clip goes on just like this, in this same orientation, all right? And then that linkage hooks down, down through the, in between here and this, and then hooks through this hole, uh, hooks through the hole and comes out this, this way, all right? You're not gonna be able to see any of this. I'm. I might be able to, but my fingers are going to be all up in here. You're just never going to see it because it's a very small area. I've got to try and guide that linkage down into here and push it through. And once we have that, it's, it's there. Then I can get these bolts in and then I got to worry about getting this uh, keeper uh, locked in. All right. Oh, when you're doing this, in order for that linkage to get down and in into there the whole time you're doing this you have to hold you have to hold it up in the uh in the release position for the uh, lock that's the only way you're going to get that to go in and even then you're still got your fingers up in there trying to guide that to come through this hole so it's a pain it takes a little bit but that is how it goes so you got to hold that up and then get that linkage to come through right through there okay <laughs> and my keeper came off so this is this is what you're dealing with it's it's quite the pain i think i'm getting it yeah it's, it's starting to come through there it goes all right now see if i can't lock in this clip okay that's locked in see if maybe we can tighten this down test it out there's that. And now the bolts and washer for the, well, I'll be, <laughs> you guys aren't gonna believe this. I can't put these on with this on. So I have to pull this all back apart and then once I put the lock cylinder part in, I have to, I have to bolt that in and lock it down. So, all right, so I've got that back out. I've got this back in here. 
and I got my linkage hanging from it. So now I need to secure this piece because you can't get to it. I figured one of you guys would catch it and let me know, but they really made this difficult, didn't they? I'm going to show you so you can see right here how that's just dangling in there and it's hanging just like you want it and now we're going to try and take that lever for the lock mechanism and just slide it on there <laughs> I know and there's that nice and nice on there to go in but this fell off before it went in try it again all right I think we got her uh, we got it we got it and I mean me by we I'm the only one here there it goes all right clips in now let's bolt this in And we're going to just engage the lock. Yeah, I don't like the way it's being so hard to turn with that last little bit to get it to release. I don't know if there's like a, a way to adjust that. Try one more adjustment. See if I can get it to go this way as far as I can. Because it's coming this, it's going up and this way to unlatch. So maybe if I push it as far as I can this way, maybe that'll give me that last little bit all right let's try it again locked oh much better much better so there's a little bit of adjustment that can happen here so oh yeah I didn't have to hardly hardly do it okay now we have to adjust our striker plate that's a big screwdriver. And I'm going to bring it up right away. And let's just see where we're at with, with it up. All right, let's see what we got. Okay, so it latches. Hopefully the key works now. Doo -doo -doo. Get something out of my trunk. There we go. Okay, so we're going to bring that down a little bit. So I'm about halfway down. Too far. Okay, try that. Try it again. Make sure it works. Okay. We got that. We've got our striker adjusted, at least for now, because one of the issues that I'm, I'm, I'm dealing with is this rubber seal is just new. And, you know, we gotta get, we gotta get it to where it's, you know, relaxed and down more, because this is not, here, let me close this and I'll show you. So if you look, let me get you down here and you can see it's not coming down all the way um, on both sides it's not coming down all the way and that seal is just holding it from going down and I'm not sure please don't tell me I got that seal on there wrong again there you go let me let me show you, it's uh, coming together. So now we have this 
plastic protector or trim piece, I guess you would probably call it a trim out piece that goes on. And we'll go ahead and get that in. And then we'll try the trunk one more time, make sure it's not interfering in any way. There's that. Okay, so let's, uh, let's test this lid one more time coming down and make sure that doesn't interfere. Nope. There you go. Well, we've done it. I think we're gonna wrap up the trunk video, uh, part two, and we're gonna call it good. So the trunk's in. Um, I'm just keeping weight up here to help try to settle those uh, um, seals. You know, just hopefully over time they settle, or hey, maybe you guys tell me I put them in wrong again. Uh, but that's all done. The trunk latch works. And I've got the trim wrapped in around the window. That's all done. And uh, yeah, I'm really happy with it so far. So there you go. One trunk lid in. All right, guys. Uh, I appreciate you guys tagging along. Whew. Okay, I'll stay over here. Not, not so bright. I appreciate you guys tagging along. The uh, We're going to call this a wrap on the trunk lid uh, part one and two. Now the we know the trunk's in, we got hinges, all those things are done. Everything's working good. Uh, yeah, there were some hiccups along the way on this one for sure, but we got through them. All right, I'm gonna catch you guys on the next video and see you soon, all right, bye.